Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Picture Effects tutorial series, you will learn how to remove picture background. The effect you are going to learn is say this is a picture that we have taken from one of the files and this is the picture when the background is removed. So how do we remove the background from a picture is what we are going to learn today. Let us go back to this slide where we have already stuck the picture. Let us see how to remove the background here. The effect you are going to learn is available only in PowerPoint 2010 onwards. So PowerPoint 2010, PowerPoint 2013 have this uh, option. It is not available in 2007. If you were to use the usual uh, tool that is available to remove the background, so far the one that is available is this one called a set transparent color in PowerPoint 2007. If you use that, the effect is not really good because you can see this patchy removal of background which is not what we want. For this, we have the option to remove background in PowerPoint 2010 and PowerPoint 2013 and the option I am going to choose is this one called as remove background. As soon as I click remove background, you can see that PowerPoint assumes certain parts of the picture as foreground or the area you want to keep and the rest of the picture is going to be colored in purple which marks the area to be removed. Now if you were to see how the image will look if you click outside you can always see from this one here let me increase the size of uh, the preview you can pretty much see the impact of this on this one. We don't really have the stock here which we want to keep and the edges still have certain um, portions of the background which we don't want. So we are going to minimize this so that we have lesser distraction. So what we are going to do is we want to claim this stock back from the photo. As a general rule of thumb it's a good idea to expand the area of selection which is usually a part of the entire picture to the entire picture. So I am going to expand the area of selection in all four directions and this will help us get a much clearer idea of what we want and what we don't want. Now that I have expanded the selection area, you can see that some portion of the stock is reclaimed and there are certain portions that are added from the background which we don't want. So how do we make, make it possible that we have the entire stock available and we remove the areas that we don't want? For that you have the options here. There is one option called as mark areas to keep. So I am going to click on that one and I am going to hold the pen, the cursor and drag it all the way along the area I want to keep. Now this has helped me to get the stock back. I still have some portion which belongs to the stock which is lost in the background. So I have clicked it and yeah there I have the entire stock claimed back. The next thing is to remove these portions which are part of the background. For this I am going to choose this option called as mark areas to remove and as I click on it my cursor turns into a crayon pencil or pen whatever you want to call it the way it looks to you and then I am going to click and drag across the area I want to remove. Now as I click here you can observe that those areas are getting colored in purple or pink which means those areas will be removed because they are considered as background. Now this seems to be the right selection for me. Now that I am satisfied I am going to click outside. As I click outside you can see that we have the image the way we want. Sometimes when you do this uh, remove background effect there are times 
that the edges would look quite abrupt and sharp so there is a way you can make sure that your image merges seamlessly to the background for that click on the image right click go to format picture and choose the option called as soft edges if you are using powerpoint 2010 you will be able to observe this by right clicking and going to format shape option and you will be able to go to soft edges option so here in powerpoint 2013 uh, these options are available as a separate pane. In the soft edges option, I am going to use either two and a half points or one point so that the edges merge with the background beautifully. Let me choose two and a half points and this is beautiful. Now that the image is merged with the background, I am going to reduce the size of the photo here. Let me tilt this slightly like this and I'm going to put this on top of another image. So let me take a picture from one of the folders and let this be the image I want to work with. Now I'm going to send this back by right clicking and send to back. Now this when I keep here and go to slideshow motion you can see how this picture is merging beautifully with the background of another picture so that is how you can work with two images and in general you've learned how to remove background from a picture effectively knowing how to work with pictures can help you to create business slides that look very professional if you are able to combine the picture effects with custom animation, your business lights go to a whole new level. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our advanced custom animation templates pack, where we have com combined picture effects with custom animation and you can see the impact as we go to the slideshow mode here. The first one is about two images and associated text. You can see how we have used the image of a cursor to make this photo appear and you can have the associated text written here. This is another image we can introduce on the other side and you can have the corresponding text that explains this picture. Let me take another example template and this one is about two pictures coming out of a box. Here you can write your details about the box and when you click you can see that these pictures jump out of the box. Another example template is this one which is about four related images. You can write your text about the images. These are the first set of pictures and then on click you can see another set of pictures and the associated text. Let me show you the final example template. This one talks about key aspects around which everything revolves. You can see five photos revolving around a text in the middle. The effect looks very stunning. Now the beauty of this is though the effect, the custom animation is quite advanced here, it is very easy for you to replace these images and have the custom animation retained still. The, the way you can do it is, let us say I want to replace this image with my own image. For, for that, I have uh, clicked on the picture. I'm going to right click, go to format picture. And in the fill option, I'm going to choose this one called as picture or texture fill. Click on file and let me choose this photo and press insert. Now I have replaced one of the photos with my own photo. And let us see if the custom animation is still retained. Let me go to the slideshow. And yes, you can see now that my new image is revolving around this core text. These kind of custom animation templates are created for busy business presenters like you because it takes a lot of time and effort to create professional custom animation effects in PowerPoint. Now with such fantastic off-the-shelf solutions available. You can spend your time to hone your content rather than to build and uh, 
polish your slides whenever you want to create your presentations if you are a busy business presenter you can always browse through our collection called as 60 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for powerpoint where we have more than 630 advanced custom animation effects included as part, part of templates to make the business slides all you need to do is to replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating or removing background from a picture if you want to learn more such tutorials watch more videos to improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting